Hey everyone. All right. So for this week's what are you playing video, uh, I'm going to bring you guys all up to speed with what has happened and what I'm playing and what has changed since the last one. I mean, I've done a few of these. I probably don't need to explain them anymore. Um, but okay, so what have I finished? Well, I've really only finished one <laughs> since the last time. Uh, I finished Steel Rising. Um, I did the DLC. I finished the main game. I didn't 100% it. Uh, you can't really 100% it in one playthrough because there's some quest decisions you have to make. Actually, about mid game that kind of lock you into a given path. And so there's like trophies and presumably achievements if you play it on the Xbox or on PC. But there's like trophies and things that are like blocked out uh, um, from, you know, given your choices. And I, I have to be honest, I don't usually 100% games. I don't usually go back and replay games unless they're really, really special. I wouldn't say this is special enough for me to go back and play it again. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it, but it's very much uh, a one and done kind of a thing. Um, I mean, never say never. I really did enjoy it, uh, but I, I don't think I'm gonna go back and play it again. I still do recommend it pretty highly. The um, if you like Souls likes, this is this is a great game. Um, it there are some issues. And, you know, some of the online reviewers have already talked about them. Um, it's not exactly the, the, the graphic powerhouse you might want. Um, it's, it's also got slightly clunky... Um, I don't want to say it's clunky controls, but it's most certainly not as responsive as you might expect something like a, a Dark Souls to be. Um, and I will also say that its level design is a sometimes a little bit um, one note. Uh, by the end of the game, you're going to start seeing all the same stuff you've already seen repeated over and over again. There's a few unique areas in the game, you know, like the the there's a I think it's a gypsum mine that you can go into, but for the most part, it's a whole lot of like you know historical French cities <laughs> besieged by uh, clockwork machines. But no, I did love it. I really enjoyed it. I'm not sure I'd recommend the DLC. Like I said, it, it felt a little light. But I really enjoyed it, and I had a lot of fun. So, Steel Rising. I finished that. Um, now, let's move on to the stuff that I'm still playing. I mentioned last time that we, uh, my friends and I, we picked up Evil Dead and started playing it again. Uh, I still am playing it. I've been playing it solo. I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, that this weekend... Uh, I can convince them to play it again, because I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, but I've been playing it solo without them. I mean, we not really solo. You can't really play it solo. You can play it with AI, but I have been playing it online with strangers, which is real hit or miss. I'm not somebody who likes to play games online with strangers, because strangers are awful. <laughs> they're, they're, they're absolutely terrible human beings. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I, I would cite the... Uh, the uh the, the the penny arcade comic from uh years ago about how online anonymity makes people just awful um so the other another one i'm playing i i haven't finished monster sanctuary um i'm kind of hitting a wall of 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 enjoyment on this like i'm not really enjoying it as much as i was which is probably why I haven't finished it, because it's the sort of thing where when I go to play something on my Switch, you know, there's other stuff that kind of calls to me. Um, I'm hoping I can push through, because I did enjoy it up to this point, but, you know, we'll wait and see. Um, which brings me to No Man's Sky again on the Switch. I'm still, I'm still playing it. I'm playing it again on the Switch. Um, I've got a friend, one of my friends... We play Souls Likes together. We also have played No Man's Sky together in the past. 
and he recently picked up a PlayStation VR 2 uh, and has been playing No Man's Sky there. So I uh, I was debating about you know him him playing that and me playing No Man's Sky on the Switch and we play it together because it's I believe. I mean, I know that on the other versions, it's it's you know cross-platform uh, multiplayer. I would assume. I would assume that the Switch has the same feature, but I have to be honest. I haven't really done any online stuff yet with the Switch version, so maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. I will say this. I will say this. One of my joys in the summertime. We have a, a, an enclosed deck, and we have this little hammock that we set up out there. One of my joys in the summertime is to kind of lie down in the hammock on like a, you know, a, a nice sunny afternoon and like play my Switch games or play my Steam Deck or something. And if I could play this with my friend who's in PlayStation VR while I'm lying down in a hammock... Like, that would be a really fun experience. <laughs> I realize that's very much like an old person thing to say. I want to play the video game from the hammock. But it's totally the case. I want to play No Man's Sky in my hammock. Um, and I haven't yet. Uh, okay, so, so what's completely new this week? Um, there's two things completely new. The first thing is uh, the Eternal Castle. Uh, I have uh, the physical edition for the PlayStation 4 uh, done by Hard Copy Games. So it was a limited physical edition. Now, I just started this, so I don't know too much about it. Um, I will say <laughs> uh, the game starts with a, a uh, an opening scrawl of, of text that you have to read to find out the backstory. And the font choice was like, it nearly broke me. <laughs> it was awful. Year 2000 something, before the fall of the Cybernet Society, extraterrestrial human colonization units were able to construct uh, parallel survival facilities around their root planet in order to re-establish a self-sufficient ecosystem in space. The procedure was d discontinued by numerous terrorist attacks to the main core servers after countless global wars. All systems got shut down and the procedure was never again resumed. Polluted water, climate change... Uh... Some word, I don't know, active warfare and presence of resources. Presence of resources caused the ma major, majority, majority, oh Jesus, of the remaining humans to decrease the remaining colonization. Oh, that's, that's awful. Uh, units in space were able to survive for several years before extinguishing most of the remaining resources needed for survival scavenger units were sent back to earth to gather materials in order to restore the self-sufficient ecosystem f facilities and continue the extraterrestrial oh my god why do they do that colonization procedure one of the units was sent back to Earth, but the unit never returned. It's been too long since the last time I was in touch with her. I know she is in danger. I know she needs my help. Going back there by my own is a suicide mission, but I have no choice left. Either I go or she dies. But, um... It's it's a game that's uh, graphically it's kind of uh, it says that it's it says it's a remastered remake of the original Eternal Castle from 1987, which uh, would and it has two bit CGA graphics. Now, I haven't looked up um, to verify that that's true. 
you know, they, it could just be that this was a new game and they were pretending that it was a remaster, or it could be a remaster. I, uh, I don't remember playing or hearing about Eternal Castle back in 1987, but that doesn't mean it didn't really exist. I, uh, just because I don't know about it doesn't mean it did. But it's, um, it's kind of an adventure game. It's kind of in the same vein as, uh, uh, something like, uh, Flashback or Out of This World, if you're familiar with those retro titles. Um, at least so far it is. Again, I'm pretty new to the game. I basically just started it a couple nights ago and I maybe put in an hour. Uh, but I am enjoying it. Um, I do, I do kind of wish that the fonts were a little bit more readable. Um, so far the fonts haven't been as bad as that opening font, but, um, they haven't been great. The last new game this week that I'm playing, uh, is a, a, a st game on Steam. Um, I started it on the Steam Deck, kind of thinking I could jump between Steam and PC, uh, but it doesn't support the cloud, uh, the saved game cloud update stuff. So I just started again on the PC as well. Uh, it's called Fear and Hunger. Uh, that's what it's called. It's on Steam. Um, I, I saw somebody mention it online this last couple of weeks, and it was a game I'd never heard about. But somebody brought it up online and mentioned it as something that I might be interested in. And uh, I did a, a tiny amount of research. Like, I started watching a YouTube video where somebody was explaining what the game was. And I got long enough to, to, to realize, oh man, this is... This is a game that's like right up my alley, but like also realize that if I keep watching the video, I'll probably get spoilers. So I have to be honest, I don't entirely know what the game's about yet, um, but it is an independent game. It plays in the Steam Deck, of course, plays on on your PC as well. Um, it's it's a it's vaguely an RPG, like a classic RPG with like turn based combat. But it's got this um, kind of survival horror aspect to it, and almost a Lovecraftian feel to it, and a, a really um, oppressive difficulty, which I really like Souls-like games, and I really like horror games, so it's kind of like right up my speed, right up my alley. Um, and I'm enjoying it. I'm dying. I haven't, I'm yet to really accomplish anything at all. And it is one of those games that when you ultimately do die, you're kicked back to the main menu and, and like, you basically have to start over. Or go back to a, a save. But I don't know how to save it yet, so I don't really know how to save my progress. <laughs> the point is, is I keep dying and having to start over. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be a roguelike because it's not, like, procedurally generated levels, or at least as far as I can tell, they don't seem to be. Maybe they are. I, maybe I should go do some research. I just, I just went into the game kind of blind based upon a limited amount of research that made me realize, hey, this is a game that I would like. And, and I am liking it a lot. So maybe next week's video, I will have more to say about it. But so far, it's really interesting. Um, all right. So I think that's everything that I'm playing right now. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks. Bye.